Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to do an updated version of my strip club tutorial. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. So before we start, a little bit of housekeeping. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and also follow me on TikTok because that's where I'll be the most active. To have a strip club business, you need to download Wicked Whims mod. Next thing that you will need is a Get to Work expansion pack. If you haven't the pack, uh, you can buy it through my link on Anibal. That's where I buy all of my expansion pack when they are not on sale on uh, origin and even if they're on sale sometimes it's still a little bit cheaper to buy them on anybody any questions that aren't technically related please leave them down in the comments and i'll do my best to answer all of that so without further ado let's just jump into the computer so i can show you all of that i did to put my strip club here i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the gym and replace it by my strip club. You are going to change the lot type into generic. This is very important, otherwise it's not gonna work. Um, I'm, no, I'm not gonna change the name just yet. So you're gonna go into the gallery. Okay, so now you are going to choose the lot category and then the lot size, obviously, that you will be using. So for me, it's 30 by 30. Um, and then I'm going to do, I think, hashtag. And you simply going to put strip club and a lot of option should appear. Tayo. There we go. So I like to sort by the most, the most popular, but yeah, it's just up to you. Just browse, go around, see if you have uh, the packs that are available. So I favorited this one. Let's see. Let's see if they have like a base game. So there it is. Uh, I decided to get rid of uh, floor one and two. Here's the entrance. Very cool, very VIP. So like I said, I decided to get rid of floor two and one and two because I really don't need them. I modified it a little bit, not too much. I've added some mirrors and also some neon signs and I will leave the link down in the description box because these are custom content. And now I'm gonna show you how to add um, the items that will be really important for you guys to get your strip club going. I'm just gonna filter by a custom content so it's easier. And then you are gonna scroll down until you see this. So these are the strippable. And you place them wherever you see fit. So I'm just going to put, um, I'm going to put two, I think, on this stage because it's a big stage. Okay, so I've put all the stripper poles that I wanted. And then here I did individual, individual cubicle or something like that where you can get a private dance. So as I was saying, now you're going to look for... There we go. So you're going to look for this. So this is a um, dancing spot marker and you can either add the normal one or you have one um, that is invisible. So once you go live, you won't see the spot on the floor. Whereas if you put the other one, you will see that purple mark. Once you're happy with that, you're pretty much good to go. The last thing that you want to do is change your uh, lot traits. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put the casual nudity trait because sometimes when they take off their clothes, some sims might react to that. So if you put this, um, no one is gonna be bothered by the nudity on the lot. This is Rose. And so I am going to show you how to buy a strip club and set it up with this household. So first of all, you're going to go into your phone and you're going to go on the second tab with this little icon and you simply going to do buy a strip club. So when you do this, it's going to redirect you to uh, the world and you need simply need to go to the lot that you have chosen to be the strip club. So for me, it's here. Let's go. And yes, I want it furnished. You, uh, the lot type needs to be generic. So like I told you earlier, and then the business management is through the phone and not through this uh, tab, unlike the other businesses. So just press OK. I don't know why she changed uh, outfit, but OK. Do you think, girl? Uh, transfer funds to your business. Yeah, two and a half is fine. So first things first, we are going to go into our phone. And so now that we have bought the strip club, if you press here, you will have all of the options for your strip club. So I'm just going to press pause. Yeah, because otherwise she's just going to go and do her shenanigans. So let's set that up. So the first thing that we're going to do is manage opening hours. Um, so I'm going to put that it opens at 9 p.m. and it closes at 6 a.m. After opening hours, what we're going to look at is the business quirks. I personally don't change them, but um, if you guys want to make uh, men-only clubs or women-only club only for uh, famous people, if you don't want your models to undress, you can do that as well or always undress. So yeah, so you can just like play around with these uh, features I just leave it as as is so we did the opening hours now we're gonna design the outfits so I created four different outfits it will be the outfit of Rose and then we have the second outfit so I also want to have different outfits so this one is gonna be for the bartender and then I'm gonna have one outfit for people who are going to charm the guest and give lap dances. So this is going to be that one. And then the last one is for the people who are going to be dancing on the pole dance. So on stage. I also created a male outfit. So this is for the janitors. I will explain a little bit later what they do. But yeah, very classy. Love it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to hire myself as a dancer and then, so this is not mandatory by the way, but I just personally want to hire myself and then you go into manage employee. There we go. So here you have the current dancers and then dancers that are available for hire just the townies or you can create your own dancers so we're gonna get eva eva because she has a lot of charisma capriciosa is the name of a pizza by the way just fyi we're gonna get uh zoe let's get julia she also has a lot of charisma Nalani. Okay, let's take Minerva. And that's it for the dancers. So we're limited to six. I don't know if we can get more, like the more 
uh, your clubs grow so I'll have to update you guys on that because I haven't played enough to see if we can hire more staff so plus the janitors uh, I'm gonna start with only one janitor because it's quite expensive and I don't feel like you need that many oh 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 let's do this perfect so we've managed the opening hours we check the business quirks we design the outfit and then the last thing to do is assign the outfits the female outfits okay so this one is mine So you need to check your supplies. Here we're at 100 because it's the first time that um, we're open. But you basically go here, strip club, and then you can either order supplies or put the price markup. It will automatically put 0%. So you're not really making, you're not making any money. Um, so you want to start by 25 or 50% and see what happens. I'm going to put 50%. If you put more than that, uh, you have the risk that um, patrons think it's too expensive and therefore they will just leave the venue. Okay, so let's press play. Okay, so she has changed outfit. That's perfect. So the first thing that you need to do once your staff is there, and we're going to check... Okay, so you're going to click on your dancers. Uh, go into strip club and then assign task. So I'm going to assign her the task to charm clients. So this option when, will only show to the people who have uh, charisma. If they don't have charisma at all, they're automatically just stage dancers. And the same goes for bartenders. If they have no ability to bartend, you will probably not be able to assign them to that task. So I'm going to assign her to charm people and then Zoe is suppose oh yeah she is she already got assigned to be a bartender because she was the only one with bartending skills so that's cool and then the other two I tried to assign them a task and it's not working because they don't have any skills so they're just going to be dancers so for the dancers you need to assign them to a pole or like an area. So I'm going to assign a dancer, which is going to be Julia, and then assign dancer, which is going to be Nalani. And then normally for those who are assigned to be charming guests, they just do their own thing. You don't really need to micromanage. They should be fine. Just make sure you keep an eye on them. Uh, but same goes for the bartender. Uh, apart from the supplies, if you run out, uh, should be fine. And then for the janitor, it's still the same. They should be going around, taking glasses, cleaning, and also repairing stuff as they go. Um, but if they don't, you can assign them to clean up an area or whatever. So the interesting thing is, I don't know. <laughs> She's just dancing, but there's no one. Um, but yeah. So she's just doing her own thing. Get it, girl. But yeah, we're just going to let her do her thing for now. Until we get uh, people. Oh, there's someone here. A client. A watcher. Okay. So what you can do is... 
So you click on the sim uh, and then you're going to greet. And so you kind of need to, you know, talk to people a little bit. And then once you um, befriend them or like you have a little bit of a conversation going, then you can kind of ask them if they want to dance or if they want to pay for a show or something. So let's see. So yeah. You see here you can flirt so yeah I'm just gonna seduce him until he gives me some money charming so yeah here we're there are no uh, available lap dance spot ooh okay let me fix that you know what I've been <laughs> I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. You know why? Because on the seats where you want the lap dance to happen, you need to assign the spot. Oh my God. So yeah. So there we go. That's what was missing. And now it shouldn't be an issue anymore. So I'm just going to assign. There we go. Ooh, make it rain. Make it rain, baby. Let's go. Make that money, honey. Did he say yes? Offer private dance. So what's up, bro? Girl, if you don't dance. Ooh, it's working. It's working. It's working. Oops. Mm-hmm. Work it, work it, work it, work it. He seems unbothered, but okay. Ooh, thumbnail. Thumbnail. Zing. Get it, get it. It's a shame we can't really set the price for like, you know, the dances or whatever, but... So she's fine. Now let's check on the janitor. He seems fine. There's not much to do, to be honest. Um, uh, this is not the place to sleep, sir. There you go. Like I said earlier, instruct the janitor to clean. Ooh, make it rain. Make it rain. She's bringing the money. Do you want one more? Why are you uncomfortable? You didn't like it? I know it's Diego that is uncomfortable. Okay, whatever. Uh, charming. Offer private dance. Yeah, the other one is uncomfortable. What do you want me to say, brah? Oh, this guy is sending the money. Let's greet the client. Oh yeah, I don't have bathrooms in here. I really need to... <laughs> uh, I really need to change uh, things up. But you gotta get the gist of it. I just think this strip club is a bit too big. I think I'm gonna create my own, another one, but like smaller. Until you play around with one, you don't really realize how big it is. And I'm only playing with one sim, but you could play with a whole household. Like in the previous video, I had a whole household. And it's a lot. Is she sweating? What's going on? Oh, she's doing her dance, but is she sweating? I'm so confused. I'm so, so confused. What's going on? Oh, is she peeing? I don't know, but I'm going to make some money. Is she sweating? Look at this. Oh, are these bubbles? What is going on? Uh, so just so you know, if you don't download... Um, the files that I told you to earlier, um, you will see the sim like fully naked or whatever. 
just FYI. One eternity later. So we were open for 13 hours. The total revenue was 621. The bar made 376. And then um, dancers tips, total profit cut. The cost, we didn't use anything. Uh, the wages though. And so yeah, we made a profit of 207, <laughs> which is not much, is it? But and I myself earned $550. So yeah, I don't think you can be rich with a strip club, but I could be surprised. I could be surprised. I'm gonna, you know, play around with it and I will keep you guys updated. But I hope this video was uh, somewhat helpful. Uh, look at what, what? Okay, that's enough for today. That's enough. You guys subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>